Hello friends and uh, welcome again to my channel Faisai. In this particular problem, we have to find the term symbol for the ground state of aluminium atom. This is the problem number 7 from LS and JJ coupling. Okay. Now for uh, the aluminium atom, the atomic number is 13. Okay. And the electronic configuration for the aluminium atom, it will be 1s2. 2s2, 2p6 and then 3s2 and then 3p1. Okay. If you see <coughs> up to this 3s1, the subshells are completely filled. Okay. And the last subshell that is the p subshell, it has only one electron. So this electron is actually the optical electron. This is the optical electron and the energy of the atom will depend on this electron. Okay. So we have one P electron. Okay. We have one P electron. Okay. Which is also optical electron. And we know that from the Hartree approximation that the energy of an atom, it is determined by the uh, the configuration of the optical electron okay or you can say optically active electron okay now since we have a single electron the uh, and it is a it is a p electron so value of small l which is uh, orbital quantum number <coughs> it will be equal to 1 okay and the value of capital l which is actually the summation of l uh, since we have uh, uh, only one electron, so L must also be equal to one, capital L. Similarly, the spin quantum number, that will be equal to one by two. And then the value of capital S, which is actually the sum of the uh, values of uh, small s, it will also be equal to one by two because we just have a, uh, a single electron. Okay. Now, because uh, the value of L is 1, so it must be a P state, okay, it is a P state and the multiplicity, the multiplicity, for this will be equal to, which is uh, the formula for multiplicity is 2s plus 1, uh, this is uh, capital S. And if we put 1 by 2 here, it becomes 2. So we have a P state, okay, which have a multiplicity of 2, right? Let's move on to the next page. Now, the value of J, now we have the value of L, which is uh, 1. We have the value of capital S, which is actually equal to 1 by 2, okay? Now we have to find the value of J. Now the value, the minimum value of uh, uh, J is uh, L minus S and then L minus S plus 1. Okay. And then up to the maximum values L plus S. Okay. So the minimum value of J will be equal to L minus 1. That is 1 minus 1 by 2 and the maximum value uh, will be equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 and uh, there, there, there uh, uh, could not be any values between these two. So the values of J are 1 by 2 and then 3 by 2. So we have two J values. Okay. One is 1 by 2 and 3 by 2. It means, <coughs> it means we have uh, uh, <coughs> two states. One is 2p1 by 2 and other is 2p3 by 2. Okay, so we have two states. If we see uh, uh, the question, it says that we have to find the ground state of the aluminium atom. So we got to know which one of uh, these is actually the ground state. Okay, now according to the rules, if uh, in a multiplet, 
okay uh, suppose uh, we have uh, in this uh, particular uh, problem we have aluminum atom and we say that if there is half filled subshell then the level with the lowest j <coughs> lies lower okay so if we see among uh, these two states here the multiplicity is 2 here the multiplicity is 2 uh, it's a p state so value of l is equal to 1 and these two are this 1 by 2 and 3 by 2 these are j values and what we are saying that if there is half field subshell now see for uh, less than half field actually less than half field okay less than half field okay so if we have a yeah, less than half field we know that for a p state the maximum electron that it that it can accommodate is actually 6 and uh, the half of 6 is 3 and here we just have a single electron so it is less than the half field if we have a less than the half field uh, subshell then the lowest value of j should lie the lower it means the ground state the ground state state is the 2p 1 by 2 state so this is the final answer okay bye